to our uh, usual Tuesday seminar. We have Marzia Furu who will talk about, uh, I forget the title actually, but it will be about Kunstpimser algebras of correspondences of commutative Caesar algebras. So please take it away, Marzia. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm giving you the opportunity to talk about this. Okay. Uh, uh, the aim of this talk is to investigate the structures of the Kunstpimser algebras associated uh of this form that uh the correspondence uh, the right of a fixed modular structures of a comes from a vector bundle and the left multiplications comes from the homeomorphism okay i will go more the details in uh i just say that about the structures especially we wanted to see that when uh they are classifiable in the sense of the uh, classifications program. Okay, for this, I will first briefly recall some preliminaries. Uh, and okay, the, uh, the main uh, CSI jobs uh, that we are looking. Uh, are these concepts that I brought over the commutative case? But the first, I will just uh, give uh, give the preliminaries for the arbitrary that I brought. Okay, so maybe I just okay. First, uh, I will recall the definitions of the uh, Hilbert A modules. Uh, okay, A here is a CSI bus and uh, a Pre Hilbert A module is just write A module E, which is a cube with uh, Cisco linear maps uh, that, I, that I will show by these uh, from E cross E to A, such that I uh, have uh, this property that is um, we have this, uh, this linear and also how to behave with the uh, right module structures and how it behaves if with the adjoints and the property that if uh, is always uh, the inner product of uh, KC and KC is greater than zero and is zero if KC is zero. And this property allows us to define a norm because uh, this uh, inner product has a value on A. So, uh, uh, we can define by the help of the norm of A, then if is E is a complete with respect to the noise norm, we call that E the right Hilbert A module. And okay, and also we can define similarly next one, but just we should be careful about this property. And uh, if And if E is a cube both uh, left, left, uh, left inner product and the right inner product, we call it Hilbert A by module. If this uh, property holds uh, for right inner product and left inner product. But the, the other uh, notation that we need is a uh, star correspondence. Uh, a CSR correspondence over A is a right Hilbert A module E, uh, but a cube with a star homomorphisms from A to L of D. That uh, by mean, I mean that the set of uh, the adjointable operators on E. And uh, if we have uh, this one, then indeed uh, this P of E defines a left uh, A module structures on uh, e like this. And now it is obvious that if E is a Hilbert A by module, it will be uh, a star correspondence. Uh, just define this P of E as a, a left, um, as a left multiplication, and it need to see that it is also adjointable. But the converse is not true. 
uh, is not true that every theta correspondence defines a Hilbert A minus. And uh, just uh, I need also another notation similar to the Hilbert spaces. They can define the finite rank of retours by the help of the right inner product. If E is a right Hilbert A module, and we define the set of the compact of retours as the span of the finite rank operators. Uh, but uh, we always can associate a, a CS algebra to a CS correspondence, and I want to now define this. Uh, let E and phi of E be a CS correspondence over A, a representation that consists of the P and T of a disk correspondence over a CS algebra B consists of that the star homomorphisms P from A to B and a linear map P from a right Hilbert module E to B, such that we have the following property that, okay, this inner product is on A, so we can uh, say that what happened on B and that then it should be uh, equal to Z. And also it behaves with the, the left structures of uh, e like this, and also we can see that it is always that also it behaves to the right structures of the e like uh, so uh, but between uh, these representations, uh, I'm mainly interested on. Some representation is called Poi representations. Uh, give us some a particular example for this CSR correspondence yeah, for particular do. cases of A. Okay, once is a for example, if you consider just A. Uh, as a right here with a module, okay? And that then I just define the fee of E to be the multiplication by left. A maybe is just the easiest one. Uh, I, I should, right? Oh. Okay, uh, like this. Okay, it's it's a, a trivial example. Mm -hmm. And that then you find P from A to L of A that uh, if A is not, this one, and then we find A, B, on element of B to be A, B. Yes, the final you look at this. Oh, I, I, the, uh, the right is this, like, is. To see A, to see, to see A, because it's both are A. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, uh, because, uh, okay, maybe I assume that this one is clear. Maybe you should tell them what the inner yeah, product I is. Write more times. Okay. Okay. If if just a be a CS algebra, then uh, you define a b like a star b, and then uh, and the uh, uh, right a module structure is just multiplication, ordinary multiplication on a, and that then with this it becomes a right. A Hilbert right A module. And in order to define this phi from A to L of A, now I show it by D. Just define P of A 
it should be from here to here, send every B to A. Uh, then, okay, so this is the example, but I will go to a particular example that are here. Yes, I also it is. Yes, also. Yes, exactly. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, and and, and the, even I uh, again. If you want to get more complicated, you can define. Then it you cannot do it. Uh, yeah, yes, this is the sum. Uh, uh, this is uh, you, there is some uh, necessary and sufficient conditions for the CSR correspondence to be Hilbert A minus A by minus. Yes, for example, yeah, I did that. I will go, for example, if this uh, field of this, if this uh, field of E is injective and takes values on the compact operator. Okay, so maybe if you, since you asked if this P of P is from A to compact operator is on to and one to one, then you can define the left inner product here by P of P e minus Uh, sorry, who asked this question? If I, I question was, can you compose correspondences? Can you take tensor products? Uh -huh, sorry, I thought that when the correspondence uh, gives you a help with it's uh, for the uh, so you mean that how we can compose them? Uh, okay. Uh, we can define tensor product of them. For example, if you have E, then you should have F, that E, uh, but uh, then E should be A, but, but you, okay, are A correspondence and also F A the correspondence, then you can define them like the algebraic one. To the span of this one. And then, then uh, you can define this structure map. Like this. And also, of course, this is that we can define also uh, right here with a module of the energy. So it is possible to compose them by the functions of the tensor for that. You need to be correspondence, the second one here, because of this property. And in uh, and then this property could be a, a Okay. And then, but uh, in order, uh, well, uh -huh, okay. Uh, then uh, between all of these representations, I want to define a covariant representation. And uh, uh, for this, 
let's define uh, this map from the k of e on e such that that on the finite line operators is defined like this and then i will also define this one this idea and then i call p uh p is covariant if for every l belongs to the of e i have p of a is if this property holds but the, then i define that uh uh, uh the cost algebra Associated to E P that I already discussed as a correspondent uh, that I will denote it by O A E uh, is the C S algebra. Generated by the universal uh, Korean representation of C e and C of C. E. Okay, first, in order that this definition is well defined. We need to show that such universal Korean representations exist. That I don't want to go to details of this, but it exists. And the second, the universality in particular means that if P and do is any other Korean representation, and if I show this universal Korean representation, why? U, P, U, then there exists a, a star projections row from this constraint algebra to this one such that P, U is P and P Okay. Uh, Mazik, uh, yes. sorry to interrupt. Could I ask, um, in your definition of J E at the top there, uh, so when you have cur the kernel of phi pip, is that pip with respect to this inner product? Uh, yes. The uh, usual uh, one, A star B. Uh, this one. Oh. Uh, a that A B is zero for every B. Okay. Okay. Uh, because it's on CSI algebra, so I mean this perp uh, in the CSI algebra. Yep, got it. Yes, because this one is on the this is I zero. Thanks. Okay. Uh, but uh, I just want to emphasize that I need this covariant one here because if we don't have a covariant, then we have another CS algebra, this is called topless CS algebra, and I don't want to go in the area of the topless CS algebra. And because of this, I want to just write coherence to say that I want to have a constraint algebra, not topless CS algebra. Okay. 
But uh, now I, I, I give all the preliminaries and I wanted to go the uh, to go to uh, this this uh, Uh, for this, uh, I first need to introduce the class of the Hilbert Wright six module. And from now, here is the X is a compact space. And uh, the first ingredients that I need is a, a locally complex vector one that I chose by B P X over X. Okay, I will not uh, write more than locally trivial complex because in my thoughts all the bundles will be locally trivial bundles. So it means that P from V to X is a continuous onto and local triviality means that for every X belongs to X, there exists a, an open neighborhood U X of X integer N X greater zero and a homeomorphism H U X from U X C N X to the this one. And this is means that what I mean the local triviality. And as a useful terminology, I call H, U, X, and U, X, a chart. And since here is X, X is compact, uh, we can always find a cover U, N, of X, Uh, homeomorphism uh, from H to R from R to R which is one and then since it's a cover and all of them are local trivial we call this U I H I to N and at least Okay, and now maybe I will. And uh, but uh, I I define the set of the. Uh, Continuous section of V, and I mean the continuous with map from X to V, of course, continuous and the map, and such that each X of X is one. And we can define why this module. That yeah. it should be again a map from X to V. So we define it as this. But for the inner product, I can fix a chart 
Sorry, Atla. Y, H, R, for V, and I define. Okay, this should be on P of X. So I need to say that what is the value of this on X? I define. And this one be a partition unity uh, subordinate to cover UI. But if you look, this one should be like X and the sum elements on C and I. And this one should be like X and uh, like another CNI. And then by this cross product, uh, by this inner product, I mean just the inner product of this number and this uh, vector and this vector in CNI. Okay. Uh, and, 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 but the steps on tolerance says that. That this is a right, uh, a right six in a product and uh, gamma three with this one becomes a finitely generated. projective by even x and here finitely generated in algebraically uh, algebraically finitely generated uh, but the one issue is that here that what will happen if the, uh, we have a, another source of access but okay there are some results in the this theory that since this is the finality generated and projective is self tools and by some of the resources, he says that uh, the choice of atlas does not change the inner product. And does not change, it means that at least you have uh, isomorph uh, you obtain the isomorphic from of the unitary. Uh, okay, and other thing, oh, okay. But, is not only uh, part of the test runs, and it says that well, uh, any finitely generated projective by Hubert Hughes module is of the for some of it, for uh, some locally trivial vector bundle. So. Okay, but there's one thing I want to say just about this uh, Hilbert 6 modules. Uh, and, uh, but uh, now uh, we, we wanted to have a Kuznets algebra. So we need to define uh, this, uh, left multiplication on it. Okay, one, uh, the first candidate. Is that we define a, this be a, just this here. But uh, then it will not be, maybe it's not very interesting. Uh, so, but we will give a bit and to say that if we have also from x to x to 
بيئة هوميومورفيزا then define P of P from C of X to L of Roma V by P of F on Kissy B A Kissy F O So the, the difference is that in the, these examples, alpha is identical. Uh, so we obtain this. But uh, now I, I will go to the some examples to see that, uh, just to get some idea about this. Uh, could you, is, is it possible to weaken homeomorphism to continuous okay. surjection? Or? Uh, okay, uh, but uh, why I need homeomorphism? Because I wanted to use the all uh, some of the theory of the topological dynamical system okay. later and uh, uh, i i will explain okay. this talk but okay, actually you even even just to make a correspondence you don't it can just be a partial homeomorphism uh, yes. uh, it, it's but but yeah we're just more interested in these because yes, and then, then the resulting one will not be okay in some cases but but here is now it's easy to see that this one just is this one. So it's just going to adjointable operators. And okay, since you mentioned C, uh, maybe I will start the first example. Okay. So just we be a trivial line bundle. So uh, the atlas contains just one element. It's H uh, from X B to Kulaki. And then we have this homeomorphism from X to X. Then we can show that the constituency algebra of, uh oh, so maybe I should have some conventions also here. And I will show the current, this correspondence by this uh, to distinguish it with uh, uh, just the right here with A module. And then this one is isomorphic to, maybe you can just. Yes, but but we have this just <laughs> we have just this homeomorphism and trivial line bundle. Yes. But how about the alpha? Yes, and then now you can take it. Maybe you, if the line bundle is trivial, then we have just okay. Because as Karen also mentioned, that we have this. So all of the elements here are generated by this. And this is exactly the correspondence to this U that we have. Because uh, you may be considered that is generated by this uh, coherent representation. And, yeah, and or maybe in the very informal way that. Is when when it's trivial line bundle, then we have this local uh, this uh, global one, and then we have this. But uh, uh, so now uh, it's 
it, it maybe it makes sense that uh, when we wanted to look at the classifications results for this one, we look the classification results in this case. For example, when you see that when it has a finite nuclear dimension, when it is very stable, or when it is simple, then that is the use or something like this. And then we give us some idea and they return back to the group. And uh, but maybe another nice example is that if we is a uh, uh, again trivial uh, vector bundle, but it rank n. Uh, it means that uh, here we have C and I, all of them here. And then we can, and here, but here I put this all for just identity mark. Then this one is isomorphisms X O N, that is O N is a cursive cool algebra. No, sorry, cursive cool algebra with the N generator. But I, I don't go to the details, but I just give some idea that how it can uh, relate it. So, here it means that V is CN. So by X, some homeomorphism. So define EI from section H, X, EI, that EI or uh, is canonical basis for CN. Then we have. This one is identity, you can easily see, and then and by this you can see that how it can store. It also Owen is generated by the is general the uh is for uh elements universal CS algebra generated by partial isometry. So at least it gives some idea that's how it works. Uh, uh, am I correct that uh, when you have this homeomorphism alpha, it will still be the same identity, but instead of multiplication, I should write a tensor product with some index alpha, which means that I have my Hilbert bimodules, uh, but now I, 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 I somehow shift um, twist the tensor product because I, I choose my uh, right module structure. In the uh, which, uh, you are here? Okay, it is, it is, it's just, uh, not, uh, just ideas, uh, but I didn't write the details. Okay, if you think of this as C of X tensor O N, yeah, yes, maybe then true. that's true as a Caesar algebra. Now, if you just think of it as a a, 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 a tensor product of, I guess, vector spaces, and then you define you, uh, uh, the multiplication to be twisted by alpha, then yes, yeah. Uh, and then, uh, okay, so. There was a question about uh, and Hilbert formation. Uh, in a special case, when we is a line bundle, uh, then uh, this one become the uh, if we is a line bundle, then some of we also indeed is a Hilbert. Or module and uh, the left inner product is a but I will not go through the details of the proofs. But for the if the rank of the A are we greater than one, 
then there is, well, we cannot show that there is a Hilbert takes by module. Okay, it's a just reminder. But now I should go to the structures of uh, uh, constructs algebra. Okay, especially I mentioned that I like to uh, look at it as the area classifications. And so the first thing is that to show, so find the criteria for simplicity. And uh, uh, these results of uh, the, the, my glasses say that this constant algebra is simple if only if alpha is ring. And also we know that for these cross products, for the simplicity. We need minimality. And uh, in these results, it means that uh, the simplicity doesn't see the vector bundle. That's really also, but okay, it's not always the case. For the second result, maybe I should see theorem. And for the second, uh, the other. Nice. Uh, another uh, concept in this LUD variant is caring about the trace spaces. So we wanted to see that when the trace spaces is uh, not no, uh, not empty. So the trace space of gamma we also is not empty. And only if we is a line number. Oh, sorry, yes. Let's do it from here. Okay, if only if we is a line bundle. And then even we, we need this, that this line bundle determines a stable here, a stable rank one and the peeling thing. Okay, that's it. Uh, I, I like to give the proof, but maybe I just give a. Uh, uh, this uh, maybe okay, but uh, just uh, the idea is that uh, if we is a line bundle, we can always define a B uh, from okay for the I will show this by E what E C of X. Uh, Conditional expectation, and then uh, just fix uh, alpha invariant measure mu on x, then define two mu on f f t mu, and define two. Uh, and then we can show that this one is a trace. But why I like to write the digital is because then we can show that indeed if we the line on the and also be a prefix. Then the trace spaces of O of E is homeomorphic to the invariant oral measure of X. Okay, and uh, now uh, I want to go to. So if alpha is minimal, so it's simple. And also by the work of the Katsura. Uh, this concept algebra always satisfies UCC. No traces 
if you're not a, if he's not a line bundle was this surprising uh, to you okay i okay yeah. and type thing going on ah, i see i see i see gotcha okay cool it's, it's, it's actually because on is a purely infinite got it and, and it's interesting that then we can show that the purely infinite is not line Jason asks about also that why you should be homeomorphisms. I will again uh, recall some uh, results of uh, materials that if the figures are say that if x is a topological space with dimension of x is finite and from x to x is a aphrodic homomorphisms and dimension of the x also the a Oh, yes, maybe. Uh, yes. Okay, and, uh, and then we will see that in the case of the trivial line bundle, it will be a special case of the uh, cross product. So we were wondering that if it is also true in the case of the R conspicuous intervals, and indeed we proved that. Uh, if V is a, just a vector bundle, uh, or X, dimension of X is finite, and therefore from X to X, including, then all uh, V of uh, and uh, okay, the idea here is using the Rupin dimension. If alpha is aphrodic and the dimension of x is finite, then the Rupin dimension of alpha is finite, and then we can pass it to the diamond of the dimension of alpha. And uh, here also. We use the idea here. There is the uh, we should that if alpha is aphrodic and the dimension of x is finite, then these sets of correspondence have a finite different dimension. But this notion is always able to satisfy round to the end numbers. And then, uh, and this one also has a nice property like the full. And then we can use all this and write all this idea. The details to show that this has a finite number dimension. Uh, so now I obtained the first. Now I can say something about the classical world. That if I put C B as the class of From V alpha that V is a vector under over X, the dimension of X is finite and over is aphrodic, then uh, then ah. Uh, The element of C or C or classifiable. 
Oh yes, it should be a minimal. Uh, then uh, well, I'll use nine. And maybe regarding to the uh, results about the traces, I can see that the lines to see that if V is line bundle, then A. And if the line of B is greater than one, then A is a B also because of the, the classification results. This one and the, the one over here. Okay. Uh, so we see that uh, here, the rank of the bundle, uh, like this two different set of rank one and two rank one, so we have a different uh, classification results for them. But uh, maybe one question is that here we had say this dimension of x infinite, um, sorry, is finite, uh, but if, if it's not finite, then still uh, we work on it, but I don't want to talk about this. And uh, uh, we say that if of uh, the mean dimension zero and the V is a just line bundle, then the resulting to this algebra is uh, this table and so it is uh, uh, classifiable. Uh, but I will not go there, but I just very briefly, I will talk about uh, another thing because it should not be here. Okay. And then, okay, when uh, we don't have the finite dimension, uh, we need to use uh, another uh, constant algebra that is of the form of O comma V over V X Y, the Y is a non-empty color subset. And uh, in the case of the trio line bundle, this one will be this is like zero. But this is the well known this algebra, it's called orbit rating of algebra. And uh, okay, the first is important in the studying of the structures of the cross products in the case of the homomorphisms on X. And also, my day should be Okay. Uh, but also, uh, 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 Karen and the, her collaborators already proved that uh, a very nice class of the CSI tablets which are classifiable by orbit invariance can be realized at orbit orbit varying subalgebras like the simple AF algebra, sensor algebra. Uh, so still there are interesting class of CS algebras by themselves. And also now or maybe it's nice to understand that if they are also uh, classifiable by the Elliot invariance. Okay. Uh, maybe the first thing that we should pay attention that this one is not finitely generated and is not true. And so we cannot directly use the 
ideas and the machinery that we had for the case of the Ogama we also. But the idea that we use, we use that when y is uh, an optimized, this one. is centrally large. And then we can see that uh, when it's a centrally large, it means that many properties of this CSI tables and this CSI tables are same. Like for example, now the simplicity of this is the same as this one, the trace space of this is this one. And the more interesting that even uh, uh, if now we can use even this classification result because if it is a finite nuclear dimension, is a Z stable, and already Philip shows that Z stability also preserves by centrally largeness. So this one is Z stable, so this one is also. So uh, so at the, so in this box, I, I already I think that covered that. The, how the classicality of the two classes of CSI tables that are related from the vector bundles and uh, homomorphisms. But okay, as, as I mentioned, that also there are a central, uh, uh, central uh, uh, tool for us when we wanted also to generalize these results when the dimension of it. Okay, so the audience. Um, one of the nice things about this orbit breaking subalgebra uh -huh. is that it, it has this K1 killing property in the what Karen and her co authors uh, did. So I'm just wondering about the K theory of these objects, if you have any. Um, way of knowing what kind of K theoretic invariants are attainable. Uh, okay, uh, we have not really looked at it, but we still have things that it is possible to do it. But maybe, uh, no, uh, okay, we discussed about it, but we didn't really go through it. Yeah, well, the kunz pinzer algebra is always you get a six term exact sequence that's mm -hmm. kind of like the pinzer voigt mm -hmm. exact sequence, except for now you are, uh, instead of taking the identity minus uh, the homeomorphism, you take identity minus uh, tensoring with the class of the C star correspondence. Got it. Okay. Uh, so that should allow one to calculate the KK theory, K theory of, well, the NKK theory, I guess, uh, of these guys. Then, but what would be nice is to have some sort of thing that relates the orbit breaking guys to the other guys. Yeah, which exactly uh, we get in the non or in the trivial line bundle case because then they're group void C star algebras and there's this result that you input them. Right. But now yeah, these right, will be right. twisted group void C star algebras. Right. So you would need to somehow figure out the how to build in the twist, I guess, to his proof. Mm. Uh, so another question I had was um, thinking about non-unitable things, um, whether there's a, this makes sense for locally compact uh, at spaces least, X. Okay, it can be, but I think that the centrally large subalgebra is defined for a uh, uh, unit. Unitable ones, ones. Uh -huh, that's yes. right. Uh, but, but also, I guess... Um, at least this one, yeah. maybe, because uh, we know that this result holds for the studio of X. Uh, okay. So maybe we can... Uh, we can do something here, uh, but uh, the point is that it will be full if it is to be of X, I think. Maybe we should just be careful. Full, oh, yes. All this. And also, I think that here we can say something. But for the center light of it, maybe first we should define the non case. Yeah. I think that it should not be difficult. Uh, not, I think not should be difficult, but I think that I have the idea how to do it. The main annoyance, though, is that there's not so many known minimal homeomorphisms exactly. on lo locally compact, non compact so, spaces. So. Right. This was this was my sort of question. That I was wondering, okay, maybe not so many, but what about 
I guess a a periodic is some kind of weakening of minimal. But what about are there examples of these that maybe are not minimal? Yeah, or? maybe. 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 But probably. Yeah. But they say have just they just have this uh index. But it's still if it's aperitic, then it is still. And, uh, but that is that also used the fact that x is compact. Uh, it is also because. It, Okay, I was sort of, this is a bit tough. questions from the audience. Is there any connection between this stuff and David Kerr comparison? Uh, uh, for example, the uh, PhD student of David Kerr, whose name is uh, Peter Naryshkin, so he proved that uh, uh, if we have a free minimal uh, dynamical action, regardless of the mean dimension, the dynamical radius of comparison of C of X is zero. So is is uh, yeah, it's based on the open set. I mean, it's the, uh, the radius of comparison of, no, the dynamical radius of comparison of C of X is zero. No regardless of the mean dimension of edge but it's sure we have we do know that Want to ask your question? Uh, yes, please. Uh, thanks. Uh, so, um, this is probably a very, very naive question, but under what circumstances, uh, under what circumstances uh, could you get a you know a Kuhn-Spencer Kuhn algebra arising in this way from a uh, homeomorphism and a vector bundle uh, being cake equivalent to C of X? Like, so there's a, so so by way of explanation, there there's a large you know, reasonably large classes of non-trivial examples arising basically in terms of uh, theta deformed circle, but you know, certain non-commuted circle bundles arising from theta deformation that happen to have uh, commuted to base, things like the S3 theta over S2. And these are coming from line bundles twisted by some some interesting uh, homeomorphism of the base. And these turn out to be, the theta deformations turn out to be KK equivalent. Um, to the undeformed guy, and, and and one of the key things is that 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 homeomorphism involved uh, from the kuhn spencer picture is is part of a, a, a one parameter group of automorphisms. It's it, it's homotopic to the identity. Uh, so I wonder if there were more general sort of results along those lines. That if 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 your alpha 
is homotopic to the identity or fits into a one parameter group of automorphisms, then it, it's necessary. You, you get something KK, you get a KK equivalence to C of X. So these theta things, they actually have a, the base is actually commutative? Yeah, so things like, like for instance, the theta to form complex Hopf vibration. Like, you know, famously you have the irrational rotation algebra over the circle, but you also have the theta to form complex Hopf vibration. And in general, uh, anytime you have, let me put it, I, I think any time you have a, a classical circle, principal circle bundle, um, you have your Z grade, you're generated by a line. Uh, you can take, let, 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 let's say you have a, you know, U1 acting on the base, then you can take an element of that U1 um, and, 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 and sort of, and you get a torus where the one factor of U1, I mean, so the moment, so the moment you have a circle, principal circle bundle over a base that admits a circle action, you, uh, I, I should, you can, you can, I should finesse this a little. Let's say you have a, uh, sorry, I'm not very functional today. Let's say you have a- If you have a, if you have a circle bundle over a community if you have a, space. If, if you have a torus equivariant circle bundle. Then yes, you, you, you can put it in this picture and then have a, have yeah. a homeomorphism. Uh, yes, so, so if you have, yeah, if, if a torus equivariant circle bundle, uh, uh, then, um, and if you restrict to one of the, such that the, the, the structure group is one of the factors of that torus. So you have a, a, a really, you have a circle air equivariant circle bundle. Then you, you have a, you know, a circle times circle equals torus acting on the whole thing that you can now theta deform along. And this amounts to a, cons a, a, a construction um, where you're generated by the generating, you know, you're generating line bundle for the uh, principal bundle, but then you have, uh, you can, you can basically rotate by theta on the base. That's your homeomorphism. Uh, and so the uh, theta deformed complex half vibration arises in this, in this way, for instance, uh, somewhat more sillily, you know, the irrational rotation over the circle. Um, and these, and when you have a theta deformation, there's, a, there's these canonical KK equivalences with the undeformed thing. Oh, but then, sorry, I'm being daft. It's not going to be KK equivalent to C of X. It's going to be KK equivalent to the cross product, to a trivial cross product, you know, to the cross product by the trivial line with, it's going to be uh, to the cross, pro the, it's going to be kick equivalent to, uh, I guess, what you get by saying alpha equal to identity. So I, I guess it would be the circle bundle of the total space. Yeah, it's just the, the, the ordinary, the original underformed circle bundle. So I guess what I'm wondering is if a homotopy of alphas gives rise, if there are any sort of regimes where a homotopy of the alphas gives rise to kk equivalence of the corresponding conspimser algebras. Because this does happen with all the theta in the theta deformed regime, and the way you get those kick equivalences, that's as a sort of by a, a, a cone. Tom yeah, yeah, I imagine this would be the case because, uh, like, K theory wouldn't see the alpha if it's homotopic to the identity, right? So, okay, probably, probably oh, okay. That's true. okay, so if alpha is homotopic to the identity, then, then otherwise, for abstract general reasons, I think that would be true, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, thank you. Andre, you had a question? Question is a bit uh, more naive version of Branimers. Uh, is there any simple uh, way how you can see when your uh, this deformed by alpha Kunspin's algebra is isomorphic to the case when alpha is just identity? Now you wanted to get when the CS algebra, uh, you mean that? Uh, if you fix alpha and then you defer the vector bundle? Okay.
Well, this is uh, considered two different of one better. And you ask us when this constant algebra is for x1 v in the two of one beta, they are isomorphic. But uh, at this definition you know, if of one beta continues to be equivalent and such isomorphism is this. That not only isomorphisms, but even the isomorphism preserve the effect. If of one beta or uh, continuous orbit equivalent, and the V is the same, then there is isomorphism between these complete algebras, but this isomorphism even preserve the effect. And it still is a comparing with the results about the of this cross product. That, that this is a I think that it was a lot of studies that when there is isomorphism between the different cross products that preserve the effect. But if uh, the bundle is different, then you cannot say that the bundles are isomorphic. The relations is more complicated between the and other. Yes, but, but uh, this offer should not be identical. Both should be different. Presence anywhere in the chat? I don't seem to see any, so maybe we can just thank Marzia again. And next week, I forgot to open this up. Let's see, we have uh, Sugato coming from Impan, if my internet wants to work, which it doesn't. Uh -huh, here we go. And he will talk about Levi Tzvita connections. Uh, on tame differential calculi. So uh, again, that will be in person and on Zoom. So hope to see you all next week.